Here starts next on BBC. Funny. Oh, calm down. It's just Manny. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> you big chicken. Almond um, milk, but we don't have almond milk. Just a short version, babe. Okay, so it's just basically 2% milk. No, no, no. Tell them what you're doing. Oh, so... Instead of eating ice cream, I make my own popsicles, basically. So you can buy these in Amazon. I think it's like 200 for like $8. Well, let me show you the inspiration. So, hold on. Okay, you guys know how you can buy these at the grocery store, the little popsicles that just come in the little bags. And Manny will eat like 20 of those yeah. in one night. So to save himself the calories, he decided to start making his own. So he ordered the little bags on Amazon, which these are a little Amazon. bigger, but nonetheless. Yeah. Um, he ordered them off of Amazon and now he makes. So I basically, I put cinnamon, cinnamon and two sweet and lows or three sweet and lows. Splenda. Splenda or whatever the hell. But you could do stevia. Yeah. And then I'll get one of these um, funnels. Makes it easier for you to pour. And milk. That's 2% milk, but you yeah. it would be better to use almond milk. Yeah. If you don't want the calories, which I don't know. Care, to be honest with you. And that's it. But you can do... Uh, you can either, uh, you can do this, which is, this is the quick way. I like cinnamon, but you can, if you actually use the blender with almond milk, you can use strawberries, you can use peach, you can use banana, you can basically do whatever you want. As long as you liquefy it enough or we'll go through the funnel. What about adding fruits to it? Too many, yeah. too much sugar? No, you can add fruits. I mean, th this is not anywhere near as bad as eating real ice cream. You just basically get in, the need or not the need, but you know the craving now. That's all you're doing. So Diego's spending the night, and look at this one over here. He gets very, very jealous. <laughs> oh, Daddy's not paying attention to you, Enzo. Is that what's the matter? Huh? Daddy's not paying attention to you. Dodge, okay. I love you. Oh, he's spending the night today. Yeah. But I put his leg on my face. I'm gonna chuck him up the bed. <laughs> right, dudes? You having a sleepover? It is Friday. Friday, September 28th. It's about 6.30, and I decided we're gonna have breakfast for dinner. Did y'all do that? I don't know why, but my mom keeps talking. She's on this diet, and she keeps talking over and over again about how much she wants pancakes. And it really, really made me want pancakes. So, busted out my griddle, and we're going to have pancakes. I've got bacon going on over here. i got to do my eggs real quick, too. So, yum, yum. Look, folding laundry, just how I like you, doing stuff. You're making me feel that's the only way I'm doing this. Boy, don't get smacked. I'm crock-potting it again, y'all. So it's 9.45 in the morning and today's October 1st. I feel like making chicken soup, so that's what I'm gonna throw in the crock pot today. And I just have um, cut up pieces of chicken, carrots, celery, a whole onion, carrots, a can of rotel, corn. I like a lot of color in my chicken soup. What about you guys? I like it to be colorful, so. I'm going to add in my seasonings which I think I'm gonna do two cubes of the caldo de boil. And let's see what else I'm gonna put in here. Definitely need garlic powder. Let's see. I love to add Mrs. Dash. Ooh, cumin's good too. I don't know about you guys, but I love a ton of seasonings. All about it. I think I'm gonna add. Ooh, my bad.
Good there, Turi? My chicken soup. Driving in the rain, in the boonies. Ain't nothing out here but cornfields. Viejo. What? What did you do to yourself? Ow, Enzo. You got a testicle on my ankle. <laughs> it really does look like it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Enzo. Look at his ankle, y'all. Wait, put the other one up for reference so you can see. The normal one. That thing is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> Pallet. And then... That's what happened. Like I said. You're so cute. We are watching The Addams Family on Freeform. If you guys have not been watching this channel, they've been showing like Halloween movies the whole month of October. I think like two nights ago we watched Hocus Pocus, which I love that movie. So right now it's The Addams Family, which we were actually Morticia and Gomez Adams, what, like four years ago, five years ago for Halloween? Mm -hmm. I think so. His company had a um, a Halloween party, and that was our costume. I'm gonna insert a photo now. It's Sunday, October seventh. So we are headed with some of our friends to our local um, county fair that's in town. This is the last day, actually. It's about to leave. So they've got little ones, so we're taking them to go check out the petting zoo and the little toddler rides. And then we have our big giant baby back there. <laughs> he thinks he's too grown, but watch, he'll be playing. So. Did y'all watch that McGregor fight last night? Comment? Uh, it was good. I, I feel like the after portion was better than the actual main event. Yeah. Like the main event, I was like, this is crap, man. People paid for this crap. It's like the after part was what got everybody. It was very disappointing. I thought attention. they were going to go. I thought they were going to go toe to toe, but. My I feel view. like McGregor wasn't even trying. Like well, he just—it's not that. It's do you have to understand this? The Russian guy is a world-known wrestler. Like that's what he does. He specializes. Is that why he was in, doing those monkey flips? He was specializing on. He specializes in wrestling. He's not a boxer. He's not wrestling? a puncher. That so looks like jujitsu or whatever. So as soon as he got hit, the first thing he did is take it to the ground. Now, McGregor, he's. He's been practicing his groundwork, but he's not in that type of level. So he wore him out. Like, it is what it is. He wore him out. Nah, he but that after ground. part, like, that just ruined that, the whole that, thing. Yeah, like, you won fair and square. All right, cool. But you just totally screwed it up because you're just unsportsmanlike. Like, well, seriously, you don't, you don't jump what, out in what, the... What, like I said, a lot of people do not understand how the, the, the UFC actually works. Uh you have to sell drama and we're gonna go out here and sweat our butts off because what's the temperature 92, 92 degrees 92 and it's a fair so it's all concrete and no shade and hot i'm gonna melt <laughs> look at my honey he's so handsome he's so cute <laughs> Kids are weird. You're weird. My little baby, he's jealous. It's okay, mommy loves you. I just spilled my cake still. Mommy loves you. You're still you my still favorite. You still have a big head of baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, what's the difference between chocolate? Please watch your mouth. 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 Okay, 
No, you're not. I'm gonna do it. Wait. I don't see my camera. <laughs> 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 you're gonna drop your phone. I know I can do it, I swear. <laughs> you're gonna drop your phone. No, not letting you do it. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> so I'm in the kitchen baking. Baking. Quick baking. <laughs> but I picked these up today at HEB. And I cannot even explain to y'all how delicious my house smells right now. It smells so good. Can't wait to try these. But I picked these up for Jack's 
So if you've got them in your area, grab them just to try them because you know the pumpkin flavors only last for a little while, but these smell so good. Yum. So my nieces and my mom are actually gonna come over tonight and we're gonna have like a, a girl's night in because we haven't really seen my nieces in a while. One of um, my baby niece is 19. Oh no, she just turned 20, I'm sorry. She just turned 20. But she graduated already, and then my other niece is in college. She's going to be, oh my gosh, she's going to be 22 next week. Dang. These kids make me feel so old. But anyways, because, you know, they're grown, and they're in college and doing their own thing. We don't get to see them as often as other kids. So we're going to have a little girls' night in and make some quesadillas. I'm going to make some Spanish rice and watch movies and just kind of hang out and have some, some girl time with them because I feel like I haven't been able to to catch up with them and see what they've got going on. So we're gonna do that tonight. All right, I am currently working on making my Spanish rice. It's, um, we're doing quesadillas, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some Spanish rice because my son loves my rice and so does my niece, she loves rice. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make that. But I'm curious because I'm always interested to see how like everybody cooks different things. So I'm curious to see how you guys make your Spanish rice. So I'm going to show you how you make mine and you can tell me if you make yours the same or what you add different. And typically I would like to add a little more like bell peppers, onions, those type things. But you got to know your audience and my nieces and my mom don't like all that. So I'm not going to put that, but that would be good too. So the first thing I'm doing is I have two cups of rice in here and then I just sprinkled some vegetable oil on it, which I don't like to have it like saturated, just enough to coat it. And so now I'm just browning my rice and I've got it on mm, like kind of medium-ish, medium-high-ish. Um, so I'm gonna brown that real good first. And then here's all my seasonings I like to use, which I mean, nothing fancy. It's just salt and pepper, some garlic powder, cumin. I do have to be careful with this because there's also ground cinnamon, which looks very, very similar. And I have made that mistake before and grabbed the wrong one. Um, and then I just do a small can of tomato sauce and then I've got three and a half cups of water here. We just really have to just chop up the chicken. Ooh. I have tequila but I don't have lime juice. A lot of y'all have commented on how clean my house always looks. And don't get me wrong, about 90% of the time it is. But some days be like this too. <laughs> we had um, my mom and my niece over last night watching movies late. So here is the aftermath. It happens. Does anybody else's dog love to drip water all over your floors? Come here, come wipe your mouth. Look at this beard, every morning. 